Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is I Out There Hearst and I am your real estate girl, your real estate family member. Woo woo, we right here with each other. Welcome to my channel, you guys. Licensed in DC, Maryland and Virginia with our live real estate. And today I am talking to my home sellers. And what I wanna to talk to you guys about is to how to prepare your home for a successful inspection, all right? So once you decide that you wanna sell your home, you're likely gonna go under contract. That's how you get sold. When you go under contract, one of the most common contingencies is the home inspection contingency. This is where the buyer is gonna exercise their right to enter into your property and do a full inspection from top to bottom. Now, this inspection is gonna cover all mechanical and structural things, so it's not gonna be invasive where the inspector is picking up your flooring and damaging your walls or even moving your furniture if your home is furnished, okay? However, this inspection will be done. So I wanna to talk to you guys about how to make sure you get a successful inspection. So number one, before you even list, or before you allow for the inspections to be done, if you know you have minor things that need to be completed, go ahead and fix those now, okay? Fix them before the home photos will begin, fix them before the house goes on the market, fix any small or minor repairs that need to be complete, all right? Two, be transparent on your disclosures. So when you decide that you wanna sell your home, we have this thing called a disclosure. We also have this thing called a disclaimer. Now the thing is, if you're working with the right agent, as, as, at least in the state of Maryland, you have the right to choose to whether one, disclose, or two, disclaim. Most sellers disclaim. So what the disclaimer says is, hey, is the seller knowledgeable of any latent defects in the property? And you just check no and sign. The disclosure is about three pages of different questions that you would have to answer. Make sure you choose which one works best for you and you answer honestly, okay? From there, you all, I recommend you get a pre-listing inspection. Now, this will be an upfront cost associated with yourself, but here's my tip if you wanna make sure you pass inspection with no headache. Figure out and ask your agent who is one of the most popular home inspectors in your area that a lot of first time home buyers or second time home buyers or home buyers in general use, okay? Figure out who that person is, hire that person to do a pre-inspection on your home. So you will pay them to come and do an inspection. Now, once that inspection is complete, any repairs or anything that they find wrong in the property, you wanna make sure that you go ahead and get it fixed before you put the home on the market, okay? Now here brings me to my next point, which is to make your house sell quicker and to also make the buyer feel a little bit more comfortable. Once you do that and the buyer goes under contract, you know what you do? You provide them a copy of the inspection report that the seller has, I mean, that the inspector has done for you. And not only do you provide them a copy, but you get a license contractor hear me clearly get a licensed contractor to make any of those repairs and when you provide the inspection report to them also provide the contractor's contact information along with a copy of the invoice showing that you have already done these things this is going to make you look like such a great person it's going to make you look like you are very easy to work with you're on top of your game and you could be a trusted seller so i hope that this was some good information for you guys this is how you successfully get through or navigate the home inspection process as a home seller if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Make sure you share my videos, share my channel, subscribe, do all the things, and I'll see you guys next time. See y'all.